guys, it's Jessie V. How is my V team doing today? You better be having a fine dandy day. I have a V time for you guys today called my crazy photography teacher. This all happened when I was in grade 11. And I know I've made a V time about a crazy teacher before. I think it was my crazy sex ed teacher. And I made that a few months ago. But this story is just so wacky that I had to tell it. So in grade 11, I got to choose which elective I was going to take. At first, I chose a film class. But the first two weeks of this class, we only watched black and white films. So I just got kind of bored. And nothing against black and white movies. I was just kind of really hoping that we would do other stuff as well. But I did appreciate the Charlie Chaplin movies. And I bet I could totally pull off his mustache too. So I switched my elective and went into photography. And this is where the strange teacher comes in. And don't get me wrong, I love strange and weird people. I mean, I'm a strange and weird person. And so because who wants to be normal right normal's boring but this teacher was the bad kind of strange the kind of strange you don't really want to be around this teacher would get angry at every small thing somebody did if someone missed one day of her class for being legitimately sick she would question them for like 20 minutes when they came back the next day why were you sick I don't know what exactly was wrong with you I had the flu what medication did you take Tylenol? So, why couldn't you make it to my class? Because I was sick! Why? I don't know! I want to know exactly why. But miss, like how annoying is that? If I'm sick, I'm sick. Don't question me. So she assigned us this project worth about 30% of our final mark. We had to take 20 pictures that had a similar theme, and then we had to write the meaning of each picture underneath them. I was so excited for this, I took a bunch of pictures of my cousins in different scenarios with their parents permission of course I put them all in this album with their descriptions underneath them I was so excited to hand it in I got it back the next week and guess what she gave me guess what she gave me you won't believe this ridiculousness she gave me a zero a zero z-e-r-o zero like what what and the reason why will blow your mind she didn't believe that I took the pictures <sighs> like who do you think took them my dog I had to literally bring into class all this evidence to show her that I took them. I had to bring notes from my cousin's parents. I had to bring my actual camera with the time date on them. I had to give her everything to prove I took them. Like, did she not think I was capable of taking them? I just don't, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Finally, she gave me a decent mark when she realized that all the evidence I brought in pointed back to me. Good thing she never chose to become a detective after high school. Inspector Gadget would be very disappointed, miss. But that was not all she did, folks. No, there's more. She decided to take the whole class on a field trip around Christmas time. She said we were all gonna meet her favorite photographer. And we all got really excited. We thought we were gonna meet a famous person. We were gonna fangirl. But no, it wasn't. Her favorite photographer studio was 20 minutes away from the school in a forest. Yes, another forest. When the bus dropped us off, we had to walk 10 minutes in the snow to get to this log cabin in the woods. I mean, the inside of this cabin was cool because he had all of his lighting and his backdrops and it looked like a legit studio. But from outside, it was just a log cabin. It looked like we were walking to a murder house. And this man that she wanted us to meet was so old that he barely remembered how to work his camera. I think maybe she just had a big crush on him. I mean, they were both old, so you never know. You never know. So the only thing this man had us do was take pictures of each other. Like, we had to choose a partner and take pictures of them. Like, you're telling me we had to go all the way out into the woods through the snow to this log cabin to take pictures of each other? We could have easily done this in a classroom. The other crazy thing she did was one day she was handing back our last project of the year and she brought up that someone had stolen her marking sheets. It was the sheet she wrote down everyone's individual marks for all the projects they did during the year. Why she didn't have photocopies of this, I don't know. If this was the only thing she depended on, why would she only have one copy? And why weren't all the marks on a computer where she could save it? Are we back in the 50s or something? Does she feel like she needs to write everything down on one sheet of paper? But anyway, she was blaming one of the students in the class for stealing this sheet. I don't really know why a student would want that sheet because who really cares about the marks other people got? And we already knew our own marks, so what are, what was the point?
point of stealing a marking sheet. She said that when she found out who it was, they would be suspended. So I go home that night and open my bag to take out the project that she had handed back to look at my marks. And inside the envelope of my project was all of her marking sheets. She had obviously accidentally put them into my folder when she was giving me back my project. Or maybe she purposely planted it there. I don't know. I mean, I had a feeling she didn't like me. I'm just saying. So the next day I went to school and told her that I had found her marking sheets in my bag. I told her that I had no idea how they got there. I was just looking at my project and they all fell out. She immediately started yelling at me in front of the whole class that I had stole them from her. If I had stolen your marking sheets and you had told people you would suspend the person who took them, why in the world would I bring them back unless I was innocent? Why would I care about other students' marks? I just don't. Like, I was literally just trying to be helpful in returning her sheets and all she did was yell at me. She obviously thought I was a huge liar. Do I look like Pinocchio to you? So we had to take this whole thing up with the principal and security cameras in her office showed that she did put her marking sheets into my project folder and it wasn't me. So ha, take that evil villain. And I mean, she did a whole bunch of little weird things during the year, but those three things were like the main ones that stuck in my mind. And I thought it would make a good V time. Anyways, guys, my Twitter and my Instagram and my Snapchat and my Facebook page is in the description along with my vlog channel. So check it out. And until next time, guys, bye.